Michael, you're doing a great job up there. <laughs> Speaking of, I said there, it's been pretty, uh, Grand Forks is minus 17 now. Oh, it's going down. Hmm, what, a, what a surprise. <laughs> the, uh, a joke I heard last night. Uh, this is about Adam and Eve in the garden. You know that place? And the snake and the apple and everything. Well, as I heard last night, he said, don't worry so much about the apple on the tree. Worry more about the pear on the ground. <laughs> Adam and Eve. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> P-A-I-R. Not P-E-A-R. P-A-I-R. Don't worry about the apple on the tree. Worry more about the pear on the ground. <laughs> And that's true. <laughs> I mean, think about it, yeah. The apple didn't decide to fall into their hands. The apple didn't decide to pick itself off the tree. The apple just, the apple. They bit the apple. A lot of times it, it, we, uh, you said to my wife, I say, well, they made me do it. Uh-uh. Nobody makes me do anything. I mean, they might tie my hands and maybe don't be beat me till I do it. But then I still have to do it. But especially when it comes to how we feel. You know, feelings are very important because feelings tell you what's going on with you. So when I feel angry and upset, I know that I'm feeling angry and upset. If I'm feeling really happy, I know I'm feeling happy. If I'm sad, I know I'm sad. And so we all have feelings, and feelings are great because they just, they really are great because they tell you exactly how you're feeling. They don't lie to you. <laughs> you can't hide from them. The thing is, though, when it comes to feelings, then we have a choice on how we're going to act on our feelings. I know that might come as a shock to somebody, but we do have a choice. You know, and, and a lot of times we don't think that way. We'll say to somebody, you made me so mad. Mm -mm. I didn't make you mad. What I said or did, my, you might have got mad about that, but I didn't make you mad. You made the choice to get mad. First you had the feelings of being angry, and then you chose to be angry. So we've got to remember that. It's, you know, when they say have a good day, say, well, how can it be a good day? It's your choice. It's your choice. Uh, thank you, Yvonne. Uh, Father Prayers for Father Ben Bachmer. He must be not doing well. He's uh, Father Ben is in his 80s. Retired priest of the Diocese of Fargo. So let's hold him up in prayer tonight. Uh, Father Ben Bachmer. And any others? I know last night there was somebody saying pray for somebody. Um, okay. Lots to pray for. Lots to pray for. Lots of people. I mean, when you think about it, it's coming to that time of year, especially I'm talking about people up north, when the cabin fever starts to set in pretty good, pretty good. And you get the cold, cold weather like we do now. And you get the feeling of being closed in. And then you got a pandemic on top of it. Tough. It's tough. And sometimes, you know, I feel blue or sad or angry or whatever. But I still have to make the choices. You know, it's, you know, that happens to all of us. I'll get, I'll get blue. I'll get, I still have to make choices. You know, when you think about the pandemic, you think about the cold and the whatever, whatever. What I do is I try and find things that give me hope. The other day I was looking at uh, how light out is, is, you know, seeing light out much longer, you know, before the end of the day. And those things give me hope. So, and, and that's really going to increase a lot now that we're in mid-February. You watch, the number of daylight hours is going to take off like a rocket. And so you're going to have a lot more daylight. And then what happens as we get into March and stuff, like next week even, week the weather's going to warm up it's going to get into the 30s and start melting and there's going to be sunlight we're all going to be ah I'm so excited 
and all of a sudden we're going to get cold again and cloudy or snowy or rainy or whatever. Freezing ice. Da, 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 da. The problem is that can play with our feelings and our moods. You know, we can go up and down. Everybody goes up and down. It's just when those up and downs are going up and down. And uh, so, and, <clears throat> and if you're married, pray that you both don't have downs at the same time. That's not good. When one's up, when one's down, hope the other one's up. So on and so forth. Because uh, when you're both down, it could be a problem. <laughs> So, think hopeful things. Choose hopeful things. Create hopeful things. Hope is there. We have to choose it, though. It is there. It's a gift. And it's a gift that's given to all. And we have to have faith. We have to have faith that we can be hopeful. And sometimes to be hopeful, we have to put our faith in something outside of ourselves. And I don't care if it's a rock or something to take us out of ourselves. Remember, keep hope alive. Look at things for which to be hopeful. And you know, you're not you're not you're not running away from reality. Not at all. But you're choosing in that reality to seek the things to give you hope to continue on uh, in what your life to continue on in your life, what you're doing in life. So that's all I keep doing that we pray for hope. Especially hope in the person of Jesus Christ who conquers all conquers all now let's bring all of your prayers this night and uh, yeah we pray for the St. Catholics especially St. Philip's family thank you Paula and uh, so we bring all of our prayers tonight who we want to pray for and loved ones and um, I'm just thinking of a lot of people right now so let's keep all those in prayer <clears throat> and your prayers and unite ourselves together with the Blessed Virgin Mary in prayer for to uh, Jesus, uh, her Son, and, and her Lord, and our Lord. And as we pray to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. As we come before the Lord this night, we ask his mercy and healing in our lives. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. To seek for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. And the Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Today's psalm is Psalm 4, the psalm of thanksgiving. Have mercy, Lord, and hear my prayer. Whenever I call... Answer me, O, o God of justice. From anguish you released me. Have mercy and hear me. O men, how long will your hearts be closed? Will you love what is futile and seek what is false? It is the Lord who grants favors to those whom he loves. The Lord hears me whenever I call him. Fear him, do not sin. Ponder in your bed and be still. Make justice your sacrifice. Trust in the Lord. What can bring us happiness, many say? Let the light of your face shine on us, O Lord. You have put into my heart a greater joy than they have of abundance of corn and new wine. I will lie down in peace, and sleep comes at once. For you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Have mercy, Lord, and hear my prayer. Psalm 134, evening prayer in the temple. In the silent hours of night, bless the Lord. O come, bless the Lord, all you who serve the Lord, who stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. Lift up your hands to the holy place, and bless the Lord through the night. May the Lord bless you from Zion, he who made both heaven and earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In the silent hours of night, bless the Lord. 
a reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, and you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your might. And these words which I command you this day shall be upon your heart, and you shall teach them diligently to your children. Shall talk of them when you sit in your house and when you walk by the way and when you lie down and when you rise. Constantly keeping in our minds the Word of God, the power of the Holy Spirit. Keep a constant dialogue going on with God in your heart and soul. Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. You have redeemed us, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. Protect us, Lord, as we stay awake. Watch over us as we sleep, that awake we may keep watch with Christ. And asleep, rest in his peace. Lord, now you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Protect us, Lord, as we stay awake. Watch over us as we sleep, that awake we may keep watch with Christ and asleep rest in his peace. Let us pray. Lord, be with us throughout this night. When day comes, may we rise and sleep. And rejoice in your, the resurrection of your Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Lord, grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. And now, the Hail Holy Queen, Salve Regina by the uh, Mary Queen of the Universe Shrine, Shrine Choir.
Okay. Wow. Oops. Where did she go? There she is. <laughs> Mary. Well, now, yes, it's cold out, and it's going to get colder. <laughs> and uh, just saying, tonight, tomorrow night, and then it's still going to be cold like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, but it's going to get warmer and warmer. So tonight and tomorrow night are the two biggies. We get through tonight, we get through tomorrow night, and then the temperature's going to go up, 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 and up. So hang in there. Doggone it. And say your prayers and have a good night. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ, love and to serve the Lord. And now, as my dad used to say, say your prayers and go to sleep. Good night. See you tomorrow night, 7 o'clock.